you guys welcome back to my channel for today's video I wanted to do a quick eye look um, so I think this is gonna be another part of my throwback Thursday series I've only done one before with the chocolate bar palette so um, I'll link that video below if you want to see that but today in the spirit of summer I decided to use the naked heat palette and actually I'm pretty <laughs> embarrassed because I've never used this palette before and I bought it like when it came out so when was that like two years ago I don't know but for whatever reason I never really reached for it so I thought we could do a fun like bronzy summery look these are the shades so they're very like as the name suggests I mean it's called the naked heat so they're very warm colors but there's I think you can get a variety as well because you have some lighter shades here and you can deepen it up with these shades but I think today I want to do like a bronzy warm look so yeah I guess we'll get started I've already done my base I'm not wearing foundation today um, I'm actually going to a barbecue so I just put SPF on and um, I did some concealer and I put powder on because the SPF I was using, oh, I'll just show it to you since it is a summer product. It's my Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint SPF 30. It's very like, I don't want to say greasy because that sounds bad, I actually really like that product. but yeah i guess it's greasy so any like concealer that i put on over it i like to powder just so it doesn't get all weird so i did that as well so we'll finish the rest of the face after but i wanted to start with the eye look so the first thing i'm gonna do of course is set my lid because i did put concealer on the lid as well um so i'm gonna go in with the shade am I gonna go in with that shade because it's shimmery you know what I'm gonna go in with the shade chaser this like second to lightest shade because the lightest shade in the palette is actually not a matte shade it's kind of like a satin so I don't want to put that all over my lid so we'll go in with chaser yeah, that didn't darken it too much. I also got powder in my eye. <laughs> if you can tell, it's all red now. Ugh, this is starting out wonderfully. I'm also sweating because I had to turn the fan off to plug in my light. So, I don't know. This might look crazy by the end of it. Um, For my crease. I think I want to go in with Low Blow, this shade here. And I'm actually kind of putting it above my crease and blending it down as I usually do. Get down. So I feel like no one talks about this palette anymore. Um, I think because like right after this came out, well not right after, but soon after, people were starting to go back to cool tone shades because like warm tones were becoming like way too popular, I guess. <laughs> and I feel like that's what happens in like the beauty community is like everyone wants like something like warm tones or I don't know, glowy mists like and then that thing becomes too trendy so no one likes it anymore and they want to go back to what was like trending before that <laughs> so yeah i feel like now everyone's back into cool tones but for me for like the summer actually pretty much all year round i gravitate more to warm tones like browns and um bronzes and stuff maybe because like that goes better with my eye color 
Um, but yeah, I like cool tones as well. I just think I have more warm tone shades in my collection. So I just like diffuse that out a, quite a bit actually. Um, yeah, I really like that shade actually. It's more pigmented than I thought it would be. I think I want to deepen the crease as well. So I'm going to go in with the shade He Devil. It's like a red tone brown right here. Just like a bit. I don't want to do anything crazy. I mean, like I said, I'm going to a barbecue. So at my parents. <laughs> so I don't want to like, you know, show up with full glam and sit in the sun all day. I'm just like really lightly dabbing in. And this shade does have quite a lot of kick up in the pan. If that's something you care about. I feel like I always need to mention that, but I mean, eyeshadow is powder, so obviously it's gonna be powdery. <laughs> I don't know. So it, it kind of, it looks like that, if you can tell. Yeah, sometimes it's like a warning that there will be a lot of fallout, but other times, if it's a good formula, it just means it's more pigmented, and I don't, see that I'm getting any fallout at all with these shades. Everything is blending really well. So I want to go in the, um, on the lid with a shimmer and yeah I don't want to go too dark so I'm going to use the shade Lumber. This shade here it's like an orangey bronze shade. And I'm going to use like a flat dense brush to make sure I get the most payoff. I really need to clean my brushes. <laughs> uh, so it looks like this on the brush. I might go in with my finger in the center just to get the most yeah, because this isn't like a metallic shimmer, it's more like a satiny shimmer shade, if that makes any sense. Yeah, Let's see what happens with the finger. Yeah, it doesn't feel like, oh, that's like way more pigmented. But yeah, these shades don't feel like, I guess... I always compare everything to Anastasia shadows, but that's because I have three or four of her palettes, so I know like the most about those. But when you touch the shimmers in those in those palettes, it feels like almost like creamy, but these feel more dry. So I think that's why you don't get like that metallic effect with it, but it's still a nice color can see and I just want to go back in the crease with my crease brush and just like make sure there's no harsh lines I think that's all I want to do yeah for the top lid anyway I actually might go in yeah with that the first shade with the shade ounce I'm going to put that um, on the inner corner and on the brow bone. Because I did bring that, so uh, no, what was it? Low blow. I did bring that transition shade quite high. Okay. So for the bottom, I think I'm going to do pretty much what I did on the top. So I'm going to go back in with Low Blow, this shade again, and just like swipe that across the lower lash line. And I'm using the same brush that I used for the crease shade, He Devil. 
So those two colors might mix together, which I don't mind because I kind of, that's what I'm going for anyway. Um, and I'm going to go in with a bit of He Devil on the outer edge of my lower lash line. I feel like this is getting quite grungy, <laughs> but I feel like that's the vibe with Urban Decay. Did I even ever mention this is Urban Decay? I don't think I did. I just said Naked Heat, but I'm sure most of you guys know anything called Naked Something is by Urban Decay because that's like their staple line. But yeah, Urban Decay to me is like a very grungy 90s vibe. So it makes sense like that's the look I'm getting. I did bring that down quite low but that's what I like to do anyway. I think I'm gonna have to put some eye drops in though because this red eye with this like red toned <laughs> look it doesn't look good together I think that's good and like when I do the rest of my face I'll probably put whatever highlighter I use on the inner corners as well to bring some more brightness there but yeah I'm pretty happy with how this turned out while I, like I said in the beginning, there's like a variety of shades in this palette. Can I get some lighting? I feel like if you use like a lot of them in one look, it would probably all start to blend together because it's very like all the same undertone, I feel. Like the only one that stands out is the shade Ashes, like this darker shade here. I'm not even sure what kind of shade that is. It looks like it almost has some purple in it, but it's not very pigmented like when you swatch it. But yeah, other than that, like these are all very obviously warm tones. Um, but I do like that they have some light shades here. These are all like my favorite kind of transition shades. So I'm glad those are in the palette. And you do get this brush, which normally I do use the brushes that come with Urban Decay palettes because they're... I dropped it on the floor. But uh, yeah, they're pretty good brushes. Like this is a good transition like crease brush and you could use this for blending out as well. But for whatever reason, I didn't use that today. But yeah, this is still available um, if you're interested. And if you really like warm tones, this is a palette that I would recommend. Uh, if you don't like warm tones or these shades, obviously you won't like this palette because that's what it's meant to be. So, yeah. And I do find Urban Decay palettes are quite pricey like compared to other brands. So often like I don't buy them unless they go on sale. Um, this is the only one that when it came out I was like I need that and that's because like I said I am drawn to shades like this so I think I'm gonna do the rest of my um, face and then I'll come back to finish the eye look Okay, so I'm back. Um, I thought I was going to do that off camera, but I decided to show you what I'm using um, because these are products that I put in my summer makeup basket. So you would have seen like a sped up montage <laughs> of what I used. Um, but I thought I'd come back 
on camera to do the rest of my eyes. Um, I actually have these two pencils that I put in my basket recently because I thought they were very like summery and if I didn't put them there I would probably never use them because I never reach for eyeliner. But I think this pencil actually came out with this Naked Heat collection. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Torch. So it's a very like, it's almost like an orange eyeliner and I really like this. But I think because I already went so orange with the eyes, I also have this Marc Jacobs uh, Highliner Gel Eye Crayon and this is the shade Rococo. This is very summery, but actually the pencil part fell out, so I have to be very careful <laughs> when I open it. Um, but it looks like this. It's like a bronzy shade. So I think I want to put this on my waterline. So I'm going to do that quickly, probably off camera because that's gross. <laughs> So there's with the eyeliner. I think it brings like a more bronzy vibe um, and not as red because my eye is red and it was pulling just everything red I felt so I think this looks pretty good. Obviously if you have very small eyes you might not want to put a dark liner on your inner what is it called on your waterline because it does like kind of make your eyes a bit appear a bit like more squinty I guess but yeah I like it so that's that and I did forget to put my inner corner highlight I think I'm gonna go I'm gonna use the highlighter that I used on my face which is the glow extreme from the Natasha Denona bloom palette this one here it's a bit more like peachy but I think it's gonna work since I put it on my face anyway. And it is more, it's not as like pigmented as you might think it would be because it's very glittery. So you don't get like a peach base, if you know what I mean. Like if you can see there, it's just giving me like the glitter part. So that looks fun. I don't know if you can even see that very well, but. Yeah, it gives like a bit of shimmer to the inner corner. And I think that's it for the eye look. Um, obviously you could do a wing if you wanted to make it more glam. Um, like a black or even like a bronze uh, gel liner would look pretty cool with this. But it's daytime so I don't want to do anything too much. So zoom me back out. And we'll do lips. So I think for lips, I just want to do a gloss. And I have this Sephora Gel Gloss. Oh no, that's French. Ultra Shine Lip Gel. This is like a mini size. This is like one of my new favorite lip glosses. It has like this kind of paddle. Can you even tell? Like... It's a bit like rounded on the end, kind of like the Fenty Beauty lip, um, what are they called? Like their liquid lipsticks. Um, and I really love the shade. It's called Perfect Nude, number one. And it is a perfect nude. I just love this applicator. There it is. Yeah, I think that goes well with the eyes um if you want to do like a more glam look as i keep saying you could do like maybe even if you want to do like kind of monochromatic you could do like a bronzy like orange lip which would be nice i wouldn't do a red lip that would probably clash but yeah anything like brown orangey i think would look really cool but yeah, this is what I decided to use today. I can, I'll actually show you closer because I really do like this. See? And it's not sticky at all. It's very shiny. So yeah, 
there's the lip i should take my hair down i got a haircut guys after three years so <laughs> might as well show you i got some layers should i bring this down so i got some layers so that i actually have like a style um this is just like air dried um but yeah and i cut well it's still like this long <laughs> but i cut like six inches off like it was past my butt to be honest and i asked for like these pieces in the front so that if i do like an up um like a bun i can have some pieces coming down which is kind of cool and back in style i think i don't know i'm an old lady <laughs> so yeah um this is the final look with the urban decay naked heat palette i hope you liked it and i'll see you in my next video bye